Dick, you and I have waited all year for this. It's the most exciting, action-packed two weeks in all of sports, and it tips off in today's game between the Yale Bulldogs and the Toledo Rockets. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Rockets are prepared to fight tooth and nail in this one, Dick. What are the keys to victory? If I'm their coach, the keys would be these. First of all, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Next, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. Third, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. The small forward gets the ball from right at the circle. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Number 23 is pounded on his way up. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. This is the first. It's his second. Number 21 gets the pass. Trying to feed the low block. He does the sweet fake shot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He's got the man on the high post if he can get it there. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He's got a high post flasher. He bombs from outside. Way off target. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Now trying to feed the low block. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The shooting guard with the ball. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball. Seals the defense off and explodes to the basket. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And in and out. There was no doubt about that one. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Up and inside. Trying to draw some contact. Basket falls despite the contact. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. They go into the low block. Number 33 takes the pass for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Here's a flash from the high post in the paint. 
Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. High post flasher is open. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Now they work it around the perimeter. The small forward takes the feed. There's a double team waiting there. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Up and inside. He looks for three. The ball goes out of play. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He shoots from outside. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. High post player flashing. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Down inside. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. The crowd starting to chant. It really is something, isn't it? Got the shot if he wants it. He shoots from the baseline. It sticks. Controlling the ball. Looking for a good shot. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Goes up for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. High post screen, going to use it. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. The Rockets will step to the line for the first time. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Gets the second. That's basic. Looking for contact. Up and in. Turns it over. Number 22 is fired up right now emotionally. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Tries for two. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have know, a great post play, you got a chance to really to win. Hey. 
He goes with a baby hook. They still don't score. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. He takes a three. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Looking to move it around the perimeter. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And they get the turnover. He attempts the trifecta. He gets it to fall. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. On the dribble, gives it up for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? And he knocked it home. Big time three, man. That opens up the defense when you make that perimeter shot. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. On the inside, number 15 picks up the foul. Second team foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. perimeter blocked looking for a good shot definitely a foul oh and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul oh that's a bad bad foul right there Brad working it around the perimeter they come with a double team to stop it. Gave it up for the bucket and off the mark. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He steps up to the line. First one is good. off. He takes the rebound. Number 33, pump fakes. And a momentary look from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. For two, perfectly executed. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Stolen away. He looks for the bomb. Yale are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they would keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the top of the key, way off target. Puts it up, looking for contact. Great anticipation defensively. Looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Up and inside. Jumps into the defender. They still don't score. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. Goes in. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. High post flashes for the ball handler. There's the trap. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. High post flashes. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Got to take some flight on the defensive end. Oh, what a strip, Red. High post flashes for the opportunity. Dump it inside. He attempts the three. What should they do here, Dick? I'm calling a timeout to see what's going on out here. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? They work the perimeter. He's got some room. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. As the crowd continues to chant. Well, ultimately the goal is to win. The crowd feels as though they are a big part of it too. The frustration right there. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Penetrates and kicks back. Unloads. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He's got a nice shot fake. Tries for two. Good second effort to come up with the rebound. Gets it to fall. How about a replay, boys? They work it around the perimeter. Way out on top. 
Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. Stop and pop. Gets it to go. He fires from long range. Way off target. That spin move not successful, Dick. I'll tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Number 10 to the line, shooting two. Hits the first. Both free throws go. He pump fakes. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. You betcha. Tries one from three point land. Oh, yes. On the outside. Intercepted. Working around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint for the bucket. In and out. The Bulldogs have a mismatch in the post. This may be I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Off the rim and no good. Fakes it. For two, and in and out. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Goes up for two. And he missed. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Yale is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. They're working around the arc. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Gave it up. Up and inside. Pull up jumper from way out. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Trying to draw the foul. Can't get the shot to drop. Easy one. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. At the end of the first half, the Rockets are down by eight. Well, let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Toledo had a horrible first half, Dick, in turning the ball over. I see a lot of guys out there thinking too much when they have the ball. When you think too much on a basketball court, they try to be Aristotle, man. They got to be basketball players. The opposition has time to react. You can't let them have that advantage. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? 
Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. They're working around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. The point guard receives the ball. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Launches the three. He misses it. Dumps it in. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. And the ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Back to the outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Buries it. The Bulldogs are up by seven. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. He launches the bomb. Toledo have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The center handles the pass for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Picked off. The point guard receives the pass. Goes for the deep one. He buries it. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. For two, can't get the shot to go. The center, great block shot. He seems determined to take the tough shot. Oh, they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Nice 
Nice fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Ten on the shot clock. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Goes up for two. I did a good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Great defense. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Moving it around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. For the bucket. Rims out. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Goes up for two. On the outside. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. He ran his man into the screen and dropped in a beautiful bucket. Looking for a good shot. Sets the screen for his teammate. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. He puts it in with contact and all. Hit the replay button on that one. out of bounds. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. For two. Can't get the shot to drop. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Tries for two. Looks at the three. Way off target. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Kick it back outside. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Shoots from the top of the circle. It's good. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Steals the ball. Stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. No. 
He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. And a momentary look from three-point land for the bucket. Sweet-looking shot. He is sweet. He really is. Side. He shoots from the baseline. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Looking for a good shot. Hard foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and she's got a score for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? All right. Thanks, Aaron. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon in the end. and a foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He goes to the line for the first time. He misses it. Second one. No good. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. Gave it up. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. They work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Goes up for two. Easy one. The Rockets are ahead by five. Five second call approaching. Fakes it. From left of the circle. The friendly bounces aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. He launches a three. He drains the shot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two, and off the mark. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. They'll inbound on the near sideline. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. He tries the three ball, sinks it. 
this is worth the second look. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He squares up down in the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Strong rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast play. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Yale are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Working it around the perimeter. In the pick. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Rims out. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. It's stolen. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Drains it. defensively on him on the low block kid. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball. He intercepts it. On the outside, got some room. For the deuce, drops the bucket despite the harm. The fake. For two. I love this guy hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Steals the pass. This place will go senseless, Dick, if they can get a stop. Take it away. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Yale are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Double team now, bad angle. Fake with a little baby hook. They still don't score. They'll work it around the arc. They get that rejected. He shows the sweet touch. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picks off the lazy pass. right now got to focus defensively he's got an open look for the shot goes up for two goes in now they work it around the perimeter Ooh, look at the shot block but he got some contact nice hops Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket.
with the fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. He tickles the twine from three-point land. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. For the deuce. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Time to pick up the defense here now. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. We got a timeout on the floor. And with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. Pressure that basketball. Up and inside. Has a nice look at the basket. Up and inside. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from the elbow. He hits it. Good fake. They move it into the front court. Stolen ball. We've got a timeout. Dick and I'll be back in a moment. That's a good T.O., baby. surprise the opposition with a little change here Dick that might not be a bad idea it's down to a one-point game Dick yes sir this is where the big boys start to play Brad look at that spacing and the ball goes out of bounds you talk about a great drive how about the State Farm drive of the game I tell you he was explosive he was up up and away what a drive to the rack baby that was special out of play. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Is that what you'd call a next level play? Well, it's definitely a big time play in this game right now. Well, here's a look at the turnover situation, Dick. Probably one of the stats that coaches really care about the most. I'll tell you, definitely, Brad. Turnovers are missed shot opportunities. And without shot opportunities, winning games becomes really difficult. Wow, and that stops the clock again. And yet another foul. At the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Second one is good. I knew this was going to be a dandy baby. The lead is down to three. They work the perimeter on the outside. Better fall quick. And the clock stopped with a foul. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator.
Second one, no good. Snatches the crucial rebound. That's performance under pressure right there. with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Unloads a three. He missed. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you've got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Bulldogs open the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.